Daddy, you're home. Hi, where are you? Long day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I made you food. Oh, and I cleaned the house. <laughs> no worries, I'll pick it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel oh my gosh, you have right. to cut them off. <laughs> I feel it on my neck. No, don't near me. Yes. Please, please. Will you hold my hand? Oh my god. No, I think you're no, no, don't not touch me. Do not touch me. Look, I love you, but please do not touch oh. me. Oh, oh, oh. I go on. Okay. I go on. Oh, All right, it's a bad infestation. It's a bad infestation. It's okay. Just don't I can't feel my lungs. You're okay. Wow. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. They're here. Help okay. with their hair. What's your body count? I'm only. It's only 43. Shit. That's easy. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, that's not uh, well, don't ask me mine. I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. That's crazy. You expect us to split my the bill? You got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some other Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. What did you come out for? Yeah, what did you come out for? We come together. All right, I'm saying so again. My thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing way too much. We didn't order all that. Pregnant. Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend Sarah Brady has taken to social media to share her experience of dating the actor and alleges that the actor behaved in misogynistic and narcissistic ways. It started with posts shared to her Instagram feed with the caption reviving a pic I took down by request of a misogynist narcissist. She then shared a number of Instagram stories with screenshots and messages shared between the two. There is a whole bunch of them, but if you want to read this, go ahead and pause here. Let's see exactly what he had to say. He says, if you need surfing with men, Boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men. To model, which means to show yourself off. To post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit so you get attention from guys. To post sexual pictures. Friendship with women who are in unstable places. And from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee with something respectful. She said, if you got to hang around your toxic friends that you used to be wild with, I'm not the right partner for you. If things, if these things bring up you to a place of happiness, I support and there would be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. I absolutely agree with him. You have to have boundaries because when you start having kids, which they have, you have to turn around and be a different type of person. But what do women do? Women get in close relationships with guys that they can control. I tell men all the time, the more you simp at the beginning of the relationship, the more she feels like she can get away with when she's in the relationship. That's what we're experiencing here whenever it comes to Jonah Hill. You wanted her so bad, you gave in so bad, but now that you have her, you want her to change. Look at what type of woman you were with in the first place. She was doing all these wild things. I tell guys all the time, you're not in competition with another man when it comes to a woman. You're in competition with her past. She's only going to respect what she knows. If Jonah Hill was to show a level of dysfunctionality, trust me, she would love him. But he's showing structure, but her past shows she didn't come from structure. Here. I'm just sharing the story sporadically here. However, throughout a lot of the messages, he does complain about pictures on her Instagram account as well as her life as a surfer. Sarah Brady and Jonah Hill were first linked together back in 2021 before splitting in 2022. Throughout their relationship, Sarah Brady stayed pretty quiet on social media. Following their breakup, Jonah Hill was linked to Olivia Miller, who is his new girlfriend, who have since welcomed a child in June and have even sparked engagement rumors. The moral of the story here is Jonah Hill is doing what any man would do in a situation where he wants to take his relationship a little bit serious. You have to have boundaries because you got to start taking life more serious. You can't continue to play around for people that you with. So he's good for getting out of the relationship and now he has a new girlfriend. That was his ex. She's an ex for a reason. You guys have to understand when she becomes an ex, you leave her in that box pregnant right now how you think your boyfriend gonna react i feel like he's done with the baby for real for real we always talk about stuff like that oh so he's jacking it oh for real all right so call your boyfriend and tell him you pregnant right now let's to see what he gonna say all right. all right he's gonna say yes i don't even i don't really have to do this but all right let's put it to the test and see why well, don't got your boyfriend number see first yeah. of all <laughs> hey babe it was good baby um so i gotta tell you something she had to tell you what happened okay 
So, I don't know. Remember how like, how we was talking about family and stuff? And, like, you know, you had nothing in me, like, you know, like a month ago. And my period's yeah, been late and stuff. You so. took the pill. You took the pill, remember? You took I didn't. The pill. No, I didn't. I, I actually threw it out. But I'm pregnant, babe. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant, yeah. But you already. No, we about to have yeah, a whole yeah. family. You nah, ready? Bro, no, you yeah, we about to have a family. Didn't you, didn't you go out for drinks like last night? No, no, like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm keeping I, a baby, I, so I, I hope you're ready. Baby, and I'm not working either. You not work, bro. You work, bro. No, bro, yeah, it is your, it bro. is your kid. It I'm is. Not, so not, be ready. Be ready. That's not my seed. No, it is, babe. It is, babe. What are you talking about? Last night we was just talking about a whole family and everything, and you was ready. You was ready to have a son. I was ready. You wanted to name him Eli. The pump was nice. Wow. You're not about to over here throw no kid on me, bro. Come on, I'm 22. I'm young and tired. I ain't about to take care of you. Taking care of on your own, your dolly. Single mom take thing. That's on you, bro. Don't call my phone with that shit. Bro, well, I'm pregnant. They no said it's four months. Don't, don't, don't come to my job. Don't come to my house. Don't call my mother. Don't talk to my mother. Ba she don't want to hey, no but we. She don't want to like you, bro. And you know that. So I don't know why you throwing that on me, bro. You bugging out, bro. You bugging. That's crazy as hell. Me, wow. He said, I don't even like you. Don't even come at me with that. Listen, a lot of dudes out here, you be like that, bro. You be all girlfriend and boyfriend with them just so you can continue to clap cheeks. But then when reality hits, a lot of dudes, they get scared whenever they know they've been softening it to a hood booger. Go get an abortion right now, bro. Go get it. No, I'm not doing that. that. I'm not, I'm not no, that. no, you my baby and that's it. We locked yeah, in. We locked in, babe. That's that baby. Mm-mm. Yo, that's crazy. That's how your boyfriend is feeling? He's playing. You don't think he's playing? I don't think he's... I think he's dead eyes. Like, serious? I think he's not... Nah, I feel like he's playing for real. That's how we play sometimes. You think that? You, th you think he... he, he sometimes we... I don't think dude playing. I think dude was really, really, really snapping for real. He sounded like he was serious about that. Play like that, like, but he know, like... So no. call him back, call him back. Like I asked him if he was playing or like he really wants you to go get an abortion. Like this is crazy. No, he's really playing. I swear. Why do you think he's playing? Because like that's my baby. Hello. What? Babe, you was just playing, right? Like you already know I'm really pregnant. And, like we gotta do this together. Bro, Once we like that. Normal dudes always date crazy girls, and crazy like the crazies never match up with each other because they do end up on because crazy people <laughs> prey upon the normal people. Normal guys are susceptible to the crazy girl's ways, whereas a crazy guy would be like, I, I'm hip to like what's going on here because I'm crazy as well. So they never match up. So normal guys always get preyed upon by crazy girls and think to themselves, all girls are crazy. And it's like, no, no, no. Those are just the ones that f you and trap you because normal girls, for whatever reason, I don't know, you're, you're not – you're not getting preyed upon by them. You don't find them attractive. You don't whatever. So you never end up with the the normal girl. So your assumption is just that they're all crazy when it's just that you're susceptible to crazy because you're a normie. I have to admit, man, he's making a lot of sense right there when he's saying crazy people are attracted to normal people. I honestly feel like that is a true theory. So a lot of you guys, you need to just check your attraction.